Yo, what is going on guys, Mortex sir here, and today we're going to be doing a first look at the Retroid Pocket 2. Now this is the newest handheld in the line of Retro handhelds that are coming out on the market. They're coming out thick and fast, and this is the newest one to be announced. Now I used to have the Retroid Pocket 1, and I absolutely loved that, the only gripe I ever had, and people are going to say, well why the hell? is that it only had one analog stick. Yes, I know most of the emulators that are used on these systems don't need two analog sticks, but I've always preferred two analog sticks. Don't ask me why, I just grew up with the PS1, PS2, having the analog sticks there just felt right and comfortable. Anyway, we're gonna get straight into it. So, first off, what we got, what do we notice? Well, we actually notice the actual colors. So we've got yellow and black, We've got pink and white, and we've got all blue, so it's a nice, nice addition that we get actual couple of different colours to choose from. Me personally, I'm going to go with the yellow and black, because my god, does that look sexy. So that's it for the colours, just wanted to go into that and bring that up straight away, but so let's read what it actually says. So attention, this is the pre-sale of the Retro Pocket 2. <coughs> An amazing and interesting mini game console. The official shipping time will be on the 5th of August and you can now enjoy the early bird price of pre-sale. So the price is, wow, it's actually come down $1. I've actually tried to do this video three times. So it's actually $79 now and it what before it was $84.99. So bit of a saving, not much, but you know, as I say, for the price, it looks like it's well worth it. So we're going to go down now. So firstly, we're going to go onto the screen. So net play function. This is a big thing that they're actually pushing on this device. So supports only two players simultaneously. Creates a LAN hotspot to enjoy your games with your friends. So this is really good. If you've got one of your buddies who's got one of these, and you want to play two-player games, so if you want to play any two-player sport games, Streets of Rage together, Golden Axe, um, Super Mario Brothers, you know, anything like that that's a two-player game, you can actually do this over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. That's really good because no other device has actually done this to this point in the retro handheld community, so that's nice to see. Now, we've got the emulator full coverage. Nothing new, nothing to really shout about here. Um, we've seen a lot of devices emulate these um, emulators before and the consoles, but it's nice to see that they've in included all these. I'm really looking forward to it because, as I say, I just like the shape of the handheld and it includes the N64 and Dreamcast and um, um, PS Vita games. So we didn't really see that on the RG350. It wasn't powerful enough to do that. So this will be a nice addition to this handheld. So we're going to move on to the HDMI output. So as I, as I say, again, a nice little touch. Um, the RG350 was the first one to actually implement this and then the later devices also included this. But it's just nice to have that option. If you want to keep back, sit back and relax on your sofa and you want to play it on this device on the big screen, you can do that. Now we're going to get over to the main part of the video there. There are specs, the specs of the device. So let's just start off and let's have a look at this. So we've got an analog stick and then we've got a digital joystick, which is quite interesting. We've got our A, B, X, Y buttons, standard, D-pad, which is standard, select home and start. We've got two dual speakers at the bottom either side, which for some reason they haven't been referenced what speakers are going to be at the moment. Up at the top, we've got L and Z. Sorry, not L and Z, L and R. I got confused by the back buttons. And then the back buttons are LZ and RZ. Different take on the back buttons, you know, probably because of copyright and so forth. So, um, but yeah, you know, back buttons. We've got the on and off switch, the volume switch, USB type C and HDMI mini. At the bottom we've got an audio jack and an SD card. So pretty standard what we're seeing on all these devices now, but it's just nice. The, the actual shape and 
you know the shape of it it feels like it's gonna fit perfect into your hand not be too bulky and they are actually pushing this as well so one of their slogans is play anywhere play anytime anywhere fits in your pocket or your handbag so i guess it's not going to be that big um not fitting your handbag fit in your bag but if you want to put it in your handbag that's cool or your or your backpack or your pocket so we can see it being put in a hoodie there so it doesn't look too big um i'd say that's perfect for this kind of device you don't want it too bulky you don't want it to be like a um anything bigger than that because then it's just bulky and it's annoying to carry about you want it to be portable that's your point of it a portable retro console so then we get onto the type c plug and cable 4000 milliamp battery takes around 2.5 hours to charge so that's great not too long to charge and you will get a long lifespan out of that but as i say again you will need to test test it with some of the emulators and see how long you can actually get out of it which we will do on the channel once our device comes now the product list nothing to shout about here but one thing i do really like is they've actually included tempered glass now we don't really see that on a lot of devices and it's really nice to see that because on my pocket go and my rg350 i have dropped them numerous times i've been lucky but my rg350 wasn't that lucky and i had to replace the screen on it so that's really nice to have tempered glass on it so if you do drop it then you know it's not gonna damage the actual screen now we come down to the colours, we've got pink which is really nice, blue which I'm not too much of a fan on but as I say I'm a total digging, total fan digging it, yellow and black. Takes me back to when I had my first Game Boy, the yellow Game Boy, yellow and black Game Boy so I'll be, I will, I say I'll be ordering, I've already ordered mine and this is the one I'll be getting. So we're going to move over to the product configuration. So we've got the Quad ARM A7, Bluetooth 4.0, Wi-Fi, Moonlight. Something that I've never really looked into, but we may do a video on the channel. I believe it's where you can stream things from your desktops or games and so forth onto the device. 3.5 IPS uh, screen, which is really nice to see on these devices now. Uh, a lot more devices are putting these kind of screens in. That's really nice. Four players, we will come back to that in a moment. Emulator full coverage, pl play on the TV, which is the HDMI out. Dual boot, as I say, 4000 milliamp battery, 128 gigs max space in this. That's more than enough for this device to put all your emulators on. So I don't think you'll need any more space than that. And then net play function, which we've already mentioned. Now, the four players is really interesting because we've got net play and they say it's only for two players simultaneously. Now, what can four players be? Could this be over Wi-Fi? Could it be for four play games like Super Smash Bros? Or would it be via a USB connection? So you connect all the four devices up and then you can sp play Smash. <coughs> oh my God. Then you can play Smash Bros all together. Another thing that's really nice to see is Bluetooth audio. So Bluetooth 4.0 Hi-Fi audio speakers. So you don't need the um, jack anymore if you don't want to use it. You don't need that or anything like that. So that's nice to see. Nice to see that they're pushing little things out that everyone's been asking for ever and ever on retro handheld consoles. And one thing I do want to mention as well, Wi-Fi. The only other device I can think that does Wi-Fi on this is the RG350, but it's not plug and play. It's not there straight away. There is a lot of hacking and modding you need to do. So that's the only other real handheld device um, that I've seen that actually does Wi-Fi like this. Yes, you've got the PSP and the PSV, uh, things like that, but actually in the retro hand console community, so that's nice to see that they've implemented that straight away straight off the bat and bluetooth as i say we've got the battery here so it says it in about 2.5 so it may be a bit less a bit over a bit under and then we've got moonlight um game streaming server so i believe this says bring classic desktop games to your android devices with moonlight so classic games playing on that device another great thing now this is what i'm absolutely looking forward to download apk from google store so it seems like we're going to get google store on this and then we're going to be able to download different apks on it so 
as I say, it says download and install new games and applications directly from the device. So that's going to be really good. This is going to open this device up to the modding community so much. One thing I'm really interested to test as well, the actual streaming platform, so Stadia and the Xbox streaming platform. Now they run on a cloud-based server, so if we can get the um, APK for that downloaded onto this device, then who knows how well it will run if you've got a really good connection. You know, the possibilities are endless on this, so I'm really excited to test this out, see what we can do on the device. So that's one that I'm really looking forward to and a lot of people have requested that as well that um, a device has this on. Now that is basically because it is an Android, um, the system is Android so that's probably why we're getting it but it's still nice to see it's implemented into it. So that's someone's alarm going off um, by the way so I do apologise about that. So the CPU is a 4 times Cortex A7 1.5 GHz. Graphics generally what will be in this um, device we've seen in a lot of devices now The system is an Android 6.0 Dual boot the VAM is 1 gigahertz LP DDR3 the display is nice to see these are what kind of displays I like to see on devices and they're putting them in these devices more and more now is a 640 by 480 60 frames per second 3.5 IPS panel which is really nice to see that they've implemented this in now this is another great feature in the RG350 you can plug in certain USB controls not all of them because they're still the modding community is still working on it but you can plug some in for the emulators the retro pocket 2 is claiming that it can do gamepad joysticks keyboard mouse and storage so if you can do storage that's really nice you could hook up a hard drive to it and what's really nice about this as well if this actually does do game pads is basically you've got a snes dreamcast or an n64 in your hand in your pocket so you could take it around to your buddies you say you want to play some super smash bros with him that's fine hook up two controls to it put the mini hdmi into the tv and a presto there you go you're onto a winner straight away no more carrying around a bulky console and carrying the games and cartridges around with you so that's a really nice touch i'd like to test it out and see how it works storage we've got eight gigabytes inside connectivity is wi-fi and bluetooth as i say 4.0 and then we've got the battery so as i say it says it's to char charging time is about 2.5 hours it may be a bit more a bit less but I'm really excited about this device guys, I can't wait to get mine, one word of warning, the, the shipping on it states it can be anywhere from 2 weeks up to 60 to 90 days, so within that time span, so it's up to you if you want to get it or not, or you may want to wait till it comes to a third party site, and you know the delivery dates are going to be a bit less, but that was it guys, that was the first look at the Retro Pocket 2. I'm super stoked and super excited about this. I can't wait to get my hands on this and see what this device can actually do and see what kind of modding things we can actually do with this. So guys, all I want to say is thank you for tuning in. We've got some other videos down below now, so go and check them out. It's all about the retro community here, so check them out. And until next time, guys, as I always say, stay safe and I'll see you soon.